What up, Tucson, Arizona? This is the Call Me Crazy Show, episode 101. It's been a long time because the uh, the fact is it's been a long, crazy year for Call Me Crazy. But anyways, I just want to tell you, you the viewer, who make it impossible for enjoying my show. And, of course, I want to be able to thank Marty for being the editor of the show and me being a producer. And I want to thank TCCC. First thing first, uh, it's been a fucked up Thanksgiving for a lot of people. I'm not saying for me, but I'm just saying for certain other celebrity, including Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson was arrested a week ago, a week before uh, Thanksgiving, and he was processed and he was videotaped, handcuffed, and all that. And what I want to tell you people out there in, in uh, La La Land, there is nothing better than having your own home, having your own responsibility, taking care of your own self, and still being a faithful citizen. So Michael Jackson, whatever you did, you might be you might be in the uh, world record books for the most uh, charitable case ever, hanging out, handing out money or whatever. But even if you put two billion dollars of your money for world charity, it doesn't help the fact that you think, okay, well I'll pay two billion dollars by molesting a cancer survivor but then again I'm speculating people so all I gotta say is 1993 Michael Jackson was and back in 83 82 MJ was the fucking bomb I, I love his shit I used to have a fucking Michael Jackson ET poster and all that but in 93 they said that uh molestation charges there are certain truth to rumors that happen so apparently back in 93, rumors said that he was a pedophile. Guess what, 10 years later, 2003, he's a pedophile. So all I'm saying people, for all you people who have drug addiction, sex addiction, heroin addiction, cocaine addiction, alcohol addiction, people addiction, same shit addiction, it's okay, just consider yourself lucky that you're not Michael Jackson. Because Michael Jackson is in the world of her and he ain't gonna get out of it. And you know what's gonna happen when MJ gets in prison? He's gonna be on suicide watch for 24 hours. And you know what? I don't know I don't know what's worse. Either him in, in prison or C3PO. But that's my story. My second story is Thanksgiving Day. President George W. Bush made a surprise visit to Excuse me, Iraq. Made a surprise visit visit to Iraq and said that um, here and there, thugs and assassins will not keep us down. Or more to that extent, I'm not really sure on the quote because my researchers are slacking off this week. I pay them like twenty-eight dollars an hour, and you know what? They don't turn any shit in. But anyway. But uh, my researcher said that uh, George Bush said that uh, thug and assassin will not keep us down from achieving American democracy in the U.S. Oh, in, in Iraq. So, but you know what I mean? At this point, it's been over 414 U.S. soldier death. We've been averaging one to two every 48 hours. In some cases, we lose 16 to 13, and we get being, uh, we get speculated. So all I'm saying, you know what? Uh, Guy Astley, uh, we all know who he is. He's a fucking homeboy on a uh, K Gun Nine. He said, I think that we're we're turning this into a Vietnam thing. I actually thank you very much because that's what it is because George Bush said that uh, George W. Bush said that major combat fighting ended May 1st people it's almost December 2003 and we're still suffering casualties it got to a point where the parents of the deceased soldier 
are questioning the policies of what the administration is in the White House right now. Dick Cheney, he's not a vice president. He might as well be a vice pito. He might as well be a vice pito. That's what he should be. So all I'm saying is we just got to say some prayer. Thank God for all the soldiers who are still alive kicking ass right now. And we got to thank Celebrity for going over there and making them better. Because Bob Hope died, so now it's up to Cheryl Crow, uh, Kid Rock, uh, Jessica Simpson, uh, Bernanke Lady. And you know what? That's okay. Because the soldiers need to know the American people are behind them no matter what. And if Osama Bin Laden and, and Saddam Hussein are still alive, well, that's okay because they'll get there in the end. So either way, you know, they can all go to hell, those two guys. And all I'm saying is be grateful for what we have for your Thanksgiving. I had an awesome Thanksgiving. My birthday was uh, the day after Thanksgiving, as a matter of fact. I became 488 years old, and I feel great. So that's the way it goes. Okay, people, I got to go. But our first thing first is um, eight years ago, almost 10 years ago, uh, there was a guy in the downtown scene who used to have a band called Zero Tolerance Task Force. And today I found out that he passed away six months ago. So all I'm saying, Fred Janis, I hope you, you're rocking with Jimi Hendrix and Buddy Holly up there. And I hope you have a great time because uh, your music rocks. Fred Janis, he was the founder and lead singer of a band called Zero Tolerance Task Force. He passed away in July in a car accident on tour. So Fred Janis was a great guy because he used to crack me up and he he had a lot of connections in this town and uh, he had a lot of things going for him but it gets too bad that he had to go do that uh, be in a bad car accident so uh, I have it here somewhere people give me a second give me a second Alrighty, Zero Tolerance Task Force, Fred Janis passed away this year, 2003, and he was a good guy.
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Dita said, What up? Hey, Duncan Duncan, hey, everyone, thank you, thank you, thank you for my uh, <laughs> No way. Hey, Duncan, uh, I took the tape. I took the cake to my parents' house this morning. Hey, right? <laughs> and you know, Elise officiate the whole thing. <laughs> okay, right on, Duncan. Uh. Uh, Marty, do you remember the tribal Mount Lemon thing that we did? Marty said he remember. <laughs> but Duncan, that's me. <laughs> but yeah, Duncan, I, I, I ate that cake this morning with some beer. <laughs> okay, well, I'm out of here. I'm on TV, Waputo. Duncan says, my name is Ray and I'm the president. And I like to smoke crack. 
I like to think of 40 in the morning and a 40 at night. And I think Michael Jackson is guilty. <laughs> Later, dickhead. Game over, people. I'm out. Pause that motherfucker, Marty. Come on, man. Come on, pause it. What up, Tucson, Arizona? This is Coming Crazy once again, episode 101. And basically what I'm about to do, I'm going to do my little version of a Jim Morrison uh, version of the American Prayer. My thing is called the Mexican Prayer. For all you people who don't know what Jim Morrison did back in 1978 when he was dead, the door created an album making music to his poetry back in 1978 called an American Prayer. So here's my version with the help of my good friends and brother and buddy who are let me use the music for whatever I want to do in the show and basically I want them to hear and know that the music is being played on the show. So here I go with my little wannabe a Chicano prayer. First Poems of Sin, Volume 1. Food City Temptation, A Tale of Dead Birds. Music is never over, it just begun. And the ashes from the new. Who the fuck in hell knew? Silent and rotten, scared. Run for your life, Ray, cause the scarecrow is coming for your soul. Hole, blow. Sins of a billion men gathered together for eternity in obscurity. Non security. Wait. What? Do you hear that? Creams and footsteps, beds and fear, dreams of room. Silence overbearing in the hallway, she says. Cleanse my soul from a hollow bone. Sleep, tired, life turned on. Breathing the dead, the flesh, the pleasure. Time dragged by and by and by. Universe tells me, no way, Jose, not today. Why? I'm sorry. Misery loves me. Isn't he dead yet? What is wrong with him? Sink and swim. Vision of death and pit and endless shit. A man reward. Can't hate. Why not? Because I can't. I have sinned beyond the earth, spin. No punishment is not enough. Quit or speak, lie or die. Fuck me or die trying. Anger is not enough, bullshit. I'm sorry, bullshit. Army of thoughts, soldiers of pain. Behind my high hypocrite. Angry is not enough. Bullshit. I'm sorry, bullshit. Army of dots, soldiers of pain. Behind my eyes. Salvation game. Blood cell, jail cell, padded cell. When do they forever forgive? Please forgive me. 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 Prozac nation under God. Create protection and let it fly. Into your church with flowers of doom. 
Please forgive me because I am turning blue. My star song. When does the sun day begin? Money can't buy nothing for nothing. Credit, debt it, forget it. Beer and whiskey and pepper. But then again, let it ding again. To my senses it begins. To wind down. To a crawl. And nothing all. Severed head and hand. Mangoes bling. Life and limbs all will fail. I want and I need complete bliss. One more time, try again. Take a sip, it won't hurt. I need a constant burp. Walk. Wait. Should I? Drive by. Drive in. Drive throughs. I want to explode. A unique pain. Shaking tremors. It wouldn't be the same. Fuck it. Love it. Now or never. Pills and booze. Can't wait. Need. More. Well, for it, she said behind the counter. Balance, who said. Degrees of a hundred degrees and six. Wheel on steel. Emotions to fix. Librium. Pour me some. <laughs> Laughter, fear, and I'm twisted and sick. Chance of the dead, grinning ear to ear, death to death, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, fucking bury the fucker, let's get on the bus. Who don't win says who, I do, cruel, fire of the sun, I am the only man, son. Son of man, brother of no one. Nightmares on the run, lover burned to a dream, no fantasy. Nothing's going to be alright, Bob. A story of honest Abe and Ray. The freedom from yourself poem. Part 1 Ray, do your memory roast in hell? Yes, Abe. Ray, do you want freedom? We all do, Abe. Ray, do you want your own freedom? 
freedom from the grateful demon whose eyes never lies and whose hearts never die. I want freedom for myself, Abe. Ray, why yourself? My mind is dead, Abe. Ray, is your mind stronger than your heart? The heart is only stronger in your mind, Abe. Sins, Volume 2, Second Poem. Monsoon, Red Moon. Blood cascading down an emperor's wall. Temptation, alienation, termination. Tears of the dead will rumble and tumble down the empty mine shaft. Into a spore and turn into a sore. Seen to the disgraced angels and settle the score. Raindrop, painful on my skin. Leeches and cockroaches out on a limb. Without a trace into the monsoon, the fucking blood red moon. Sin, Volume 2, Poem 3rd. The troubles of a terrible mind sleep to the death. Voices, illusion, claw to the top of a mound, and I talked around. A gracious and beautiful nymph said, Hello there, whose faith was like fire and whose body I desire. Let's throw ourselves into a burning pit. Our souls melted together, separated only by a feather of an angry and alien creature. Enough said, I said, and lay next to her, her body fragile, tender, and sweet. An earthquake appeared, she soon disappeared. A mountain of loneliness awaited me with terrible glee. Sins, Volume 2, Volume 1, Poem 4, The Ballad of Ray and Me, Handcuffed, Polyphy Ports, Broken Heart, Gasoline to Start, What is New in My Old School, Murder, Rape, Doorbell Rings, Out of the Electric Chair, Hang Me, Screamed the Man, With a Hand on the Switch, Praying to No One, He Suddenly Twitch, Milkman can man, gun and a tentacle, better be careful, the glass might break. Tornado and halo will never, ever be tolerated. Sin, Volume 2, Poem 5, Spider. Thorns all around me. A waterfall breathing her last breath. Sore shine through me, sparing me pain from a future wounded and bleak. Scars on my body, pure for no body, green for my tiger, lion, and bear. Next morning, the spider told me, Don't come me, it's you I fear. How could I be? I replied. The creature was silent. Sins, Volume 2, Poem 6. Spider, Love, Spain, Part 4. I am a bullfighter. Freedom and true. 
rich and smooth. The horns at a bowl. Honor, loyalty. Finesse is my trait. God is my strength. Shall the bull guard me? Mourn me as a saint. Sing about our death. Let the angels save our last two breaths. Sins, Volume 2, Poem 7. Six feet under, a city of lost souls. Corpses were singing of love and hate. Beneath her wood, lust forbidden between her decay and rot. Maggot plus rot. Deathly skin, wither arrayed to gentle and acidic snowflakes. The last kiss was a mess. Temples of fallen idol. Sacrifice himself on a thoughtful and angry mountain. Sing, the hounds of hell, follow them. Sin, Volume 2, Poem 8, Columbia, January 2003, Trapped. Anguish, grief, sorrow. Happiness can be cruel and thoughtless. Lying in bed, the tree said to me, You are so lucky, look at you. We have been here year after year, and we never move. That is true, I thought, while my memory fought among themselves. Denial is vile, love is futile, lost in a castle while sadness sailed down my Egyptian river. Sin, Volume 2, Poem 9. Sins of a Forgotten Tribe. Traitors met inside a cave. By the web, serpents decay. Kiss us! Kill us! They screamed at the skulls that laid on an altar. We cannot falter, whispered the traitors. An avalanche came down, trapped them inside. No one heard their cry, despite their supernatural high. Sin, Volume 2, Poem 11, Point of No Return, Fuck the Border Patrol. South of the border I came across a leper. She was poor, her daddy ran the village store. Touch me, she cried with grace in her voice. And so I did, and my skin was peeled. I could see my veins in pain and a haze through a putrid black rain upon cactus, mothman, blaze of fury. Heat will kill her if she's not already dead. One way road kill, super goddamn fucking speedway. Sin, Volume 3, Poem 2. And this is the last poem, people. Revenge is to avenge your sacred soul. Stories are told on my nomadic existence. So we can turn and tease and plead. Wherever we choose, the stars will lose. And your heart will sue. With psychedelic motherfucking goddamn kick-ass motherfucking yeed low psychedelic rules. I'm out of here, people. Late.